Welcome to our episode of Luther's Large Catechism for uh, May 11th, entitled, Whenever. Um, Luther starts out with uh, the, the final words of the Lord's Supper, do this in remembrance of me. And he's going to uh, return to this a little later on. Why do we take the Lord's Supper? We do it because it's the Lord's will and it pleases God. But then he, he points to Jesus, adds the words, whenever you drink of it. You, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes, whenever. When is whenever? Well, only 20 more days till Christmas, only 19 more days to Christmas, only two more days for Christmas. And well, you know how it drives the kids crazy when it's once a year, that big day is built up and then it gets there and it's like, oh, only 364 more days till Christmas, only 363 more days to Christmas. Uh, the Jewish celebration of the Passover was like that, only once a year. And Luther says Jesus wanted to make sure that his believers did not think that celebrating the Lord's Supper was only an annual thing, and so he left it free as to what time it would be observed with the word whenever. Um, it, it's, it's free for us to celebrate as often as we wish to offer it as often as we can in our worship services. For us, uh, twice a month on Sundays, every week on Mondays. Um, but Luther makes the, the point, uh, because certainly there was a lot of abuse of this in his day, and he recognized the devil of the sinful human nature. Um, it's not left free in the sense for us to despise it. Because the idea behind, the big idea in this lesson is whenever whenever means as often to receive the Lord's Supper often. And uh, if, if you want the liberty never to celebrate it, Luther says, well, you can just as well have the liberty not to be a Christian the liberty not to pray, because the Lord commands prayer, he commands belief, he commands the Lord's Supper as well. So we're not free to neglect it, we're not free to despise it. In fact, Luther says, the more we go without the Lord's Supper, the more callous our hearts will become, the more weak our faith will be, the more we will despise the blessings of the Lord's Supper. Um, and then he looked at, under the Pope. These were the reasons why we took, the, we took the, uh, the Lord's Supper. We were under compulsion. We were in fear. Uh, there was no inclination in our hearts to receive the Lord's Supper. There was no love for God uh, that we should take the Lord's Supper. Uh, we didn't even regard the words of God, the command of God. It was just that fear, motivation uh, that compelled them to take the Lord's Supper. Uh, but God offered it because he wants us to recognize that we want to do what the Lord wants for us. We want to please our Lord and Savior out of thanks. It's for our sake, not for God's sake, that we take the Lord's Supper. Um, wake up, Luther says. If you don't feel that need to take the Lord's Supper, wake up and realize your sins and realize the blessings that the Lord gives, uh, have that desire to be right with God. Um, and then he looks at the, the opposite, the, the tender consciences uh, wanting to be perfect before they take the Lord's Supper, because that's what it was under the papacy. You had to almost uh, be, be sinless to take the Lord's Supper. And he says, no, if you're self-righteous, you'll never go take the Lord's Supper. If you think you're going to have to be at this certain level, no. Uh, he says, certainly for, for people who are wanton and, and act like pagans, we tell them to stay away. They don't want to be a Christian. They don't want to do better in their Christian life. But for those who are weak, to come whenever, as often as it's celebrated, for there they will find strength. For their soul they will find that, that salvation which the Lord offers. Uh, so there you have it for this week's lesson, Whenever.